so I'm from South Africa and at the moment we have about a thousand people who is infected. Um, back from Ghana, they've, they've locked down now because uh, it's, getting, it's getting serious there. I'm actually from Croatia. We have 719 cases of confirmed of coronavirus uh, and six deaths. I'm from the United States um, and because it's such a big diverse country, it's hard to answer for the entire country, but I think generally very bad. You know, I've been in Beijing for a long time. I was here for SARS as well. I kind of have lived through this before and I know that Beijing uh, in particular knows how to handle this situation. So I've felt very uh, confident that, uh, that the, the city is safe. I think it's been a lot of different feelings. Um, at first, it was a lot of fear just because there was like nothing known about the virus. But then, you know, when we saw the steps being taken, I would say really, you know, we're, uh, we felt secure. <laughs> After hearing a lot of things that the government said and staying indoors, following rules and everything was fine. It doesn't make any sense because look, I go with what the WHO says, right? The WHO initially, even China was saying, oh, this is the, we're gonna call this the Wuhan virus, but WHO has had uh, naming guidelines for many years now. When something like this happens, you look for something that doesn't stigmatize a country, a people, an area or anything. It's silly to me that, the, that even to be debating a name because it's an illness and it's killing people, affecting people and that should be the focus. I think Donald, Donald Trump is uh, crazy something like he 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 want to make his herself great not America great. I would say that you know this is a kind of very emotional statement uh, because it, uh, it it sounds first of all racist. Uh, I think it's an irresponsible use of language because they're using Chinese to associate it with Chinese people and as you've seen in Western countries and in the US specifically like there has been like an uptick in racism against Chinese and other East Asian people. Um, I mean, you can look at something that happened a lot of years ago that occurred in, in America. No one called it the American virus. It was just the H1Z1 virus. This is virus. You cannot say this country bring this virus. It's shame. Yeah, I, I shared my experience uh, with uh, all my relatives uh, who are scattered between Pakistan, US and Oman and some other countries. For example, wash their hands several times a day. Don't go out unless it is really, really necessary. I told them that they, they don't need to panic. It's the same approaches that we were being told in our communities here in Beijing. Yeah. So I think that China understand it. And I, I mean, like, uh, I'm lucky to be in China. I told my family back there, this is the approach that I followed up to uh, three months now, so I'm okay. Well, basically I say follow the example of what the city of Beijing has done. Everything they've done here, I think is necessary for places like New York City and everything. Now uh, also China giving a lot of support for Europe and this is great things. They need to fight all together because this uh, virus, it's like affects all, all, whole the world. So they have to follow the same system back there. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for sharing your opinion with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I pray that China will, will overcome this pandemic so that we all can go back to our normal life.